you still watching? <laughs> this is uh, what are we up to? Video, video four of uh, the boys' trip to Vietnam video series. Um, yeah, we're uh, oh yeah, which was uh, the third stop of our uh, Vietnamese tour. Um, day eight, we we uh, woke up in our train and a really short flight to, um, I don't know what the big city was called, the Dar the Lat maybe? Dunno, dunno, not sure. So, really short flight here, I nearly got the whole thing on video, that's how short it was. Um, left Nha Trang, beautiful weather, flew into, yeah, this capital city and then caught a short uh, taxi to Hoi An, and it was, uh, it was just bucking and down rain the whole day. So, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, Nha Trang was beautiful, so, it was like chalk and cheese, really. So, up pretty early when we left. And uh, we got into, into um, yeah, this main city sort of here pretty early. Before lunch, I think. Here's our bus ride, private bus ride to uh, Hoi An. A little drive, I can't remember how long, maybe an hour, maybe 45 minutes or something like that. So when we got the Hoi An, we um, checked in our hotel, which was just this little town, like 10 room place, it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, went for a walk, went and checked out the place, went, uh, went to a burger bar for lunch. This is like the worst street in Hoi An, there was pretty good. Oh yeah, here, here's, here's our lunch spot, the burger bar. Just hiding from the rain. We spent most of the afternoon just bar hopping in between short bursts of rain. It was a nice little uh, wine bar that we found. None of us found wine. That beer was alright. So we, uh, we went to this place three or four times. It's just a really crazy little spot out of the weather. It was a pretty relaxed day. Hop between bars and out the area. We ended up finding the uh, brewery that we really liked in Saigon. They, uh, they, uh, they found some of their beers here in this town, so we just ended up spending them the last two of the night drinking uh, their dragon fruit beers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that got us through the day. Pretty relaxed day. Day nine. So, day nine. Eggs on toast for breakfast, my note says. <laughs> so it was a good little place we stayed, and they just, um, whatever you wanted for breakfast, they'd sort of cook up for you there and then. It wasn't a buffet breakfast like the last place, is it? No, it was fine. It was good. Really good. Uh, Mitch was still pretty bloody crook here. <laughs> he was. He was out. He, I think he missed all the boy and the poor bugger. It was nice. I think it was the nicest, nicest spot we went to. And uh, he was sick the whole lot. He'll have to go back one day. So, yeah. This day we just uh, walked around and sort of did a bit of shopping and looked around. It was off and on raining, but it wasn't too bad. We, uh, we um, sampled a bit of the uh, Vietnamese coffee at a few places. It's pretty strong, but it was good. Even what like their uh, coffee chain store, like their Gloria Jeans or whatever, they're called Highlands Coffee, and they had a really good coffee, but, you know, a chain store. I think the boys priced up some scarves, bought some stuff for the girls back home. Sam and I, on this day, we went and got fitted and got some boots made up. This was really cool. You got to choose the style and you could tell them if you wanted it a bit different and chose the leather. 
So I think this is the day that we um, ordered them. So as you can see, this is like all the old quarter of Boyan. It's like, it's, uh, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Area. It's um, yeah, really cool. All the buildings are sort of this, this must be sort of rendered and it's just got a really cool atmosphere. And it's um, like hardly any scooters and stuff around these streets, so you can walk free, around free, and you, <laughs> you won't get run over. Of course, it was, it was hard to spot a local there, though. <laughs> it was um, Tourist Central, heaps of Australians there. Can't blame them, awesome spot to go. So many notes I've got, I think we stopped two or three times for coffee on this day. And we stopped at a few barmy places, a really good barmy, Hoi An, world renowned. I think, you know, I think uh, Anthony Bourdain stopped here a few times and yeah, love the barmies. After a big day of shopping, I think Justin and Chris went back to the hotel and Sam and I just spent all afternoon down nearby this river, just um, bar hopping and drink, drinking beers. They had a night market there as well, which is pretty cool. I bought anything at the night market. It was just a drink of crap. It's a fruit church. Fruit church everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, and tailors of course. Yeah, so Hoi An is a place to go if you want something made up. So yeah, there's like hundreds, hundreds of tailors, and shoe shops, and belt shops, and bags, and all the good stuff. Here's the art toilet pub. <laughs> what a name. Oh yeah, yeah this is a nice little restaurant we found. Really cheap. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. That's uh not much. <laughs> not much at all. Pretty busy place at night. Really cool with all the lanterns out everywhere. You can just get them on the boat right up and down this boat if you remember that. Not much at all, you that man, of course. <laughs> it was a really good place, just really relaxed. Wasn't as busy as Saigon or no, I think much more chilled out, which is uh, what we like. Alright, day 10. So, I'm going to leave day 10. I'm not going to talk much. We just woke up on day 10 and uh, the hotel staff surprised Chris for his birthday and made him a cake, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, like we did, just did a lot of walking around and bar hopping again and shopping. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let the videos roll and this is Hoi Ann. Sam needs to go to see his tailor man. Yeah,
Day in Hong An, way too short. Should have spent heaps more time there, but anyway, all good things must come to the end. <laughs> I planned didn't leave till I think mid to late afternoon, so we had a late breakfast and we went back into town, of course, and then we all grabbed the one last bar me and uh, Sam and I picked up our boots. And Sam had a bit of trouble with these, so we got in there early and. Uh, I think he tried his on and something broke on his. <laughs> so, so they made a brand new pair of boots and I think it was two hours or something. Uh, I don't know how they did it, but yeah, they did it. And then we uh, picked up our boots. On the way back to the airport, our car broke down, so we're all stuck on the side of the road. I don't know, oh yeah, which is unfortunate. And here we are, back in Saigon. And <laughs> There we are, but Bem, Bem Bar, that's where we spent most of the afternoon. So, yeah, that's uh, video four. Four yen, or uh, what was it, three days or something, and, and uh, 
back to Saigon. So, well, see you later and come back to the last video.